Hello, welcome to this presentation on an introduction to moles. Okay, before we begin, there are a few things that I need you to know. You need to be able to use the periodic table to look up atomic masses. You need to be able to use atomic masses to work out relative formula mass. And you need to be able to rearrange the simple formulae. Now, we all like to count things. I've got a dozen eggs, a dozen elephants, I've got a dozen mice. It's all the same number of items here, but they definitely have a different mass. Okay, and that becomes important later on. Here, I've got a beaker of water with 18 cubic centimeters in it, and I know that that's going to be 18 grams. But how many molecules is that? Well, it's actually a bigger number than the total number of blood cells found in humans. It's a similar number to the number of stars in the universe, the entire universe, and it would take 10 million chickens laying 10 eggs a day, more than 10 billion years to lay the same number of eggs. So back to our water. The number of molecules in this amount of water is incredibly large. It is 6.022 times 10 to the 23. Okay, bear that in mind. Remember that number. A mole is just a way for chemists to count things. And it might be molecules, atoms, ions, but it allows us to count these kinds of uh, things. And a mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23. It's that very large number that we've just seen. There's a couple of things that this uh, can be applied to. The mass of one mole of an atom is the same as the relative atomic mass in grams. And the mass of one mole of a compound or a molecule is the same as the relative formula mass of that compound or molecule in grams. Okay, so let's, let's use that. So, same statement. If I take sulfur and I look sulfur up on the periodic table, it has a relative atomic mass of 32. And that means that one mole of my sulfur atoms is equal to 32 grams. If I take helium, look it up on the periodic table, then my relative atomic mass is four, and therefore one mole of helium atoms is four grams. And if I look up carbon, the atomic mass of carbon is 12, and therefore one mole of carbon atoms is 12 grams. If we look at molecules now, or compounds, then we've got our statement here that one mole of a compound is the same as the relative formula mass of that compound in grams. So if I think about carbon dioxide, I can work out that the relative formula mass of carbon dioxide is 44, but that means that one mole of carbon dioxide has a mass of 44 grams. If I take water, then uh, I can work out that the relative formula mass of water is 18, and therefore one mole of water molecules is 18 grams. And if I take glucose, I can work out that my relative formula mass of glucose is 180, and therefore one mole of glucose molecules is 180 grams. Okay, so let's do a few calculations. Okay, well, Let's put a few equations here, okay? The number of moles is the mass that I'm looking at divided by the relative formula mass or the atomic mass. I can rearrange that so that the mass is now equal to the number of moles times the relative formula mass, or I can rearrange it again so that my relative formula mass equals the mass that I'm studying divided by the number of moles. And some people like this in a equation triangle. And here we go. So here is the equation triangle. And if you want to use that, that's absolutely fine. Um, but you need to be able to recognize what formula you need and when, and possibly if you need to rearrange it. Okay. So I want us to work out the number of moles in 27 grams of water. Okay, so what equation do I need? Well, I need this. The number of moles is the mass divided by the relative formula mass. Well, the relative formula mass of water is 18. 
I've got 27 grams, so my equation becomes 27 divided by 18, and I get one and a half moles. What is the mass of two moles of copper sulfate? Well, I need to work out what the relative formula mass of copper sulfate is, and I need to use the correct equation. So the relative formula mass of copper sulfate is 195 here, and um, I then plug those numbers into my formula. Mass equals moles times the relative formula mass. So it's two times 159.5, which equals 319 grams. A flask contains 24.5 grams of a compound X, which you're going to be told is 0 0.25 moles. What is the relative formula mass of compound X? Well, relative formula mass now is the mass that we're studying, 24 and a half, divided by the moles, which is 0.25. So I know then that my relative formula mass must be 98. And I know I've gone through those quickly, but now I want you to have a go. So pause the video, have a go at these, and on the next slide, I will show you the answers. But you need to pause the video. Here we go. Here are the answers. Make sure you got them correct. And if you didn't get them correct, try and work out why you didn't. Okay, thank you for watching and have fun with moles.